Here we're going to solve a very interesting question based on the area of the triangle. Uh, the question is the area of a triangle is 5 and the two of its vertices are 2 comma minus 1 and 3 comma minus 2. The ver third vertex lies on the line y equals to x plus 3. Find the third vertex. Wow, very interesting question. Uh, let me, uh, let me uh, under make you understood this question. We have a triangle, all right? And uh, in this, you know, uh, in this triangle, let me first give the name. Uh, and every uh, suppose this is the first point that is 2 comma 1 this is second point B let me suppose this is 3 comma minus 2 and let me say this is the third point C all right uh, whose coordinate we don't know that is X Y all right so this is the third point which we don't know we need to find out this third coordinate and what the hint we have got that the third vertex or the point lies in the line y plus x, y equals to x plus 3. So here is certain line, uh, suppose this is a line, okay, this line uh, is y equals to x plus 3, this is a line. So third vertex is situated in this line, okay, so we need to find out what is the value of x, y, okay, very interesting it is. And we know that the area of this uh, triangle is 5 square unit. Okay, so how to find out the value of this uh, coordinate? See what I'm doing. I'm first trying to uh, find out the area of this triangle uh, in the form of x, y, and then uh, there I would get a relation, and I have another relation here from the question, and from both relation I will solve the value of x and y. All right. So first I'm going to find out the area of this triangle. So area of triangle ABC is actually five. All right, uh, five unit or whatever unit square. So area of triangle is actually one by two, and the crossing method again uh, because that's always shorter and easier. Two one three minus two. You can use the formula also. Okay, uh, if you want, if you're comfortable with that, then use that formula. X one uh, one by two uh, times x one times uh, y two minus y one again plus x two uh, y uh, y y three minus y one and again x three y one uh, minus y y2 like that you can go all right um, uh, I think this is comfortable more if you, if you practice this will be very faster all right and this is x y and you know we need to repeat this part one more time so 2 1 okay equals to 5 and again same uh, southeast 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 all right so 1 by 2 now 2 times minus 2 that is minus 4 right and then 3 times y so it is 3 y and x times 1 so it's x now minus southwest 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 so 3 times 1 that's going to be 3 and x times 2 that's going to be minus 2x and 2 times y that's going to be 2y all right equals to 5 so now it's 1 by 2 all right and it's minus 4 plus 3y plus x and now let me open the bracket so it will be minus 3 minus minus plus 2x and then minus 2y equals to 5 so further it's uh, uh, what about writing this uh, to another side so it will be uh, see now minus 4 and minus 3 so I can directly write minus 7 and we have now 3y and minus 2y so I can write here y and here we have x and here we have 2x so it will be 3x and this 2 will multiply this 5 so I'll get 10 so since it is modulus value so modulus value always gives us positive things you know that if there is minus 1 then also I can write 1 if there is minus 5 then also if there is modulus then I can write 5 and if there is 5 also then I can also write 5 so how is this you know uh, uh, it is like this if I have minus 5 suppose and then I write 5 why because minus 5 is first uh, you know this 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 minus 5 is multiplied by minus so that it becomes plus 5 and if there is positive already then we don't do anything there is already positive so we multiply by the positive or you can say or we don't do anything right anyhow we need to give the uh, positive value so for that uh, these all more or less so uh, we don't know like this quantity uh, let me do this another corner uh, this quantity uh, right here is positive or negative we don't know so what we are supposing that uh, this quantity is if negative we'll put one more negative to make it positive and if it is positive then no problem we'll write it positive so we have uh, two values you know 2 plus minus 7 plus y plus 3x equals 
10 so case 1 I'm taking as a positive when it is positive all right when positive all right we'll get minus 7 plus y plus 3x equals to 10 all right and then what I can say uh, now I can put the value of y equals to 3x because our relation is here see the relation is giving this equation y equals to 3x all right so we can put the value of y here that is uh, minus 7 plus x plus 3 plus 3x equals to 10 so here uh, we'll get here now minus 7 will go into another side so it will be 17 okay and this uh, 3 will go so it will reduce minus and then 3x and then x that will be 4x so our x is going to be 17 minus 3 that's 14 over 4 that's uh, 7 over 2 right uh, 7 2 7 zero, and 2 2 zero. so 7 by 2 we got x equals to 7 by 2 so therefore therefore our y will be x plus 3 x plus 3 so x is our 7 by 2 plus 3 so 2 times 3 6 6 plus 7 13 over 2 so our coordinate will be therefore our coordinate our third coordinate is going to be 7 by 2 over or uh, sorry 7 by 2 and 13 by 2 this is our coordinate or 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 case 2 what's case 2 if if the quantity here if this quantity is negative quantity then to make it positive because since area is always positive you know to make area always positive uh, we take uh, we, we imagine that it's already positive and now if it is negative then to make the area positive we have to multiply the negative so now negative times minus 7 plus y plus 3x is going to be 10 so now let's solve so it's going to be 7 minus y minus 3x equals to 10 and again y a value of y uh, here as we have said like uh, y is y from the given is x plus 3 so the same value here we are putting y equals to uh, minus x minus 3 actually it is like this uh, x plus 3 minus 3x equals to 10 because from uh, because from uh, question y equals to x plus 3 so now it's 7 minus x minus 3 minus 3x equals to 10 so uh, for the let's solve so you'll get now 7 minus 3 that's 4 minus x not x I'm, I'm applying at one time okay all the stuff so x and 3x so you'll get minus 4x and 7 minus 3 you'll get 4 and then when this 4 will go into the right side it will be 10 minus 4 all right uh, so your x is going to be 6 over 4 minus 4 so it's going to be minus 3 by 2 and our y is going to be now again x plus 3 so it's minus 3 by 2 plus 3 so 3 to the 6 all right minus 3 plus 6 divided by 2 so that's 3 over 2 so we got the y value also and we got the x value also therefore our x y is uh, 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 3 by 2 so here are the two possible points we give all right uh, the first possible point is 7 by 2, 13 by 2, and second possible point is minus 3 by 2, 3 by 2. So this is, uh, we, we give the third point, what are the possible values there, there too. Either it may be 7 by 2, 13 by 2, or maybe, maybe this point, minus 3 by 2, uh, 3 by 2. Alright, so these are the two possible points of this, uh, of this uh, vertices. Alright, and similar type of the many many questions may be in your textbook or in your exercise book. Try to solve those all problems and if there is any more uh, more, uh, more questions there which you are not being able to solve or there might be some conceptual which uh, may be troubling you then please uh, feel free to message me. I will try to solve that. That may be helpful for other people. Alright. So catch you in the next video. Goodbye and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Alright. Bye bye.